Today's video is about um, one of my subscribers asked me a question. Uh, what's the difference between uh, Intel Core i9 1100KF versus the 11900K? Okay, I'm just going to explain to you guys something. There's not much of a difference in regards to performance. Okay, as you can see, like, it's not much of a difference. Okay, there's the specs, you know, one's K, one's KF. There's not much of a difference in terms of uh, performance. Okay, so I'm just going to explain to you what I would do if I were you guys. Between the 11900KF versus 1100K, I personally would get the 11900K. Reason being is that the 11900KF needs a GPU, okay? What that means is if you don't have a 3080 Ti or a 3070 Ti or any type of video card that will work for that system, then it's not gonna, the system is not going to work, okay? The beauty of having the 11900K, okay, I'll just show you right now, the advantages, is that it includes an integrated GPU, the UHD Graphics 750, okay? So for the money you're paying for an 11900KF, you're better off getting this, the 11900K. Another reason why you should get an 11900K is that if your GPU failed, let's just say, for example, your GPU uh, crapped out on you, then you could still take the advantage of using this UHD Graphics 750. Fine, you're not going to be able to play Fortnite, you're not going to play high-end games, but you could still use your computer by having this. So that's the advantages of having the 11900K versus getting a KF. Because the KF model relies on a GPU. So if you don't have a GPU on hand, okay, after it breaks, then you don't have a computer that works. So that's the reason why I would avoid any anything that has KF, I would avoid it. Comparisons, you know, there's not much of a difference really. You know, they have the KF versus the K. You know, there's a lot more market share involved with the K. More people want the K. Reason being is that business machines, people don't want to have an 1100KF on a business machine if um, it relies on a GPU. So businesses are not going to need uh, a GPU. They rather have it built in, which is the 1100K. Okay. Even if you look at previous generations of i7s, a lot of them are K. And reason being is that if you don't have a GPU, you could still use a computer. I have a fourth gen and a second gen, and they're K, and they have an internal, um, you know, graphics uh, system. So even if you don't have a GPU, you could still use it. So guys, to answer your question, uh, Intel Core i9 1100K F versus K, go with the K, okay guys? Because if you guys don't have the money to buy a GPU in case it breaks, then at least you could still use your computer on an 11900K. The KF means you would have to buy a GPU if it crapped out on you. Anyways guys, hopefully that answers your question and making a decision on which one to buy. But like I said, the 11900K is my choice, what I would stick with. Anyways guys, have a good day, take care.